Welcome to another edition of Vintage Classic Movies. Today I want to talk about my all-time favorite classic movies. I'm going to talk about my top 20, the top 20 classic films of all time. But I do have a disclaimer. My favorite movies change all the time. So I could do a new list a week from Thursday and it could be completely different, okay? Here we go. Number 20, The Fighting Sullivans. It was released in 1944 by 20th Century Fox and it's based loosely on a true story about five brothers who go off to fight in World War II and none of them survive. Um, it was directed by Lloyd Bacon and it starred Ann Baxter and Thomas Mitchell who happens to be one of my favorite actors. Uh, watch that one if you haven't seen it, okay? Number 19, Caged, which was released in 1950 on Warner Brothers. It starred Eleanor Parker and the great Agnes Moorhead, about a young woman who enters the pen and becomes a hard-nosed con. Uh, it's fabulous performance by Eleanor Parker. You should see that one. Number 18, The Shop Around the Corner, directed by Ernst Lubitsch. It was released in 1940 on MGM, and it stars James Stewart, Margaret Sullivan, and the great Frank Morgan. A story about two co-workers who both have romances via a post office box. They are actually writing to each other, but they don't know it. Um, I love this movie. This is a great movie when you want to chill out, and I tend to always watch it around the holidays. Uh, I Am a Fugitive from a Chain Gang is number 17. It was released in 1932 on Warner Brothers, and it starred the great Paul Muni and Glenda Farrell. And it's about an innocent man who is sentenced to hard labor on a brutal chain gang. He escapes it and starts a new life, but he ends up getting caught and goes back to the chain gang, and it's an amazing story. And Paul Muni, as I said, he's superb, as always. Number 16, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, released by MGM in 1958. This film stars Elizabeth Taylor and Paul Newman. They play a married couple who, who don't even talk. In fact, Paul Newman doesn't even want to look at her, and when you see how gorgeous Liz Taylor was in this movie, you'll wonder why. It's a fabulous movie directed by Richard Brooks. Number 15 is next, from 1941, released by Paramount Pictures. It's called The Lady Eve, directed by Preston Sturges. Uh, it's a hysterical comedy starring Barbara Stanwyck and Henry Fonda, who plays a rich but unsophisticated guy who meets up with a con artist, and they fall in love and it, you got to find this one. you got to watch it. It's, it's truly one of the greats. Well, that's why it's on my top 20 list. Number 14 is A Treasure from 1951, United Artist, The African Queen, starring Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn, about an old rundown steamer ship during World War I and a journey that two people from completely different walks of life take together. It's directed by John Huston. It's amazing. Uh, number 13 on my list is a film noir from 1952 starring Barbara Stanwyck, Paul Douglas, Robert Ryan, and Marilyn Monroe. It's called Clash by Night. It was directed by the great Fritz Lang. Number 12 is a crime drama called White Heat. It stars James Cagney. It was released in 1949 by Warner Brothers and it's directed by Raoul Walsh. It's the story of a sadistic leader of a ruthless gang of thieves and Cagney's performance is mind-blowing. This is a must-see. Wait, I keep saying, these are all must-sees. Number 11 on my list of the greatest 20 classic movies is called Dodsworth, made in 1936 and directed by William Wyler. This great romance story stars Walter Houston, Ruth Chatterton, and Mary Astor. It's a great chick flick. Wait, am I supposed to admit that I like 80-year-old chick flicks? I think I just did. Well, it's a wonderful movie. It's an awesome movie. you got to see it. On to number 10. From 1940 and starring Henry Fonda, The Grapes of Wrath, directed by the great John Ford and released by 20th Century Fox based on the famous, famous, famous John Steinbeck novel. Great story. Number 9 on my list is The Human Comedy, released in 1943 by MGM and starring Mickey Rooney. It's the story of a family living through World War II, and supposedly, Louis B. Mayer said at some point late in his life that the human comedy was his favorite movie that MGM ever released. Uh, the movie was directed by Clarence Brown. A Star is Born, released in 1954 and starring Judy Garland and James Mason, is number eight on my list of all-time greats. Directed by George Cukor and released by Warner Brothers, this film, in my opinion, includes some of the greatest singing performances I've ever heard in my life. Judy Garland's voice is explosive in this film, as is her entire performance. I love this movie. 
Uh, number seven is a great Billy Wilder movie from 1960, United Artist. The movie is called The Apartment. It stars Jack Lemmon and Shirley MacLaine. It's the story of a man who lends his apartment keys to the executives of his company that he works for in order to climb the ladder of success. And uh, they they take the key and they spend time with their mistresses in his apartment. It's an amazing movie. It's it's great on all levels. The writing, the acting, phenomenal. Number six, On the Waterfront from 1954, starring Marlon Brando, Carl Malden, and the great Lee J. Cobb. It's an amazing story about the workplace. I, I bet you most of you have seen that one, right? Of course you have. Uh, number five is a Frank Capra film from 1939 called Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, starring James Stewart, Gene Arthur, and Claude Rains. A story about a naive and idealistic man who gets appointed to the Senate and finds out exactly how you know, crooked Washington is, or was, no, is. Uh, so number four, it's a great movie from 1962, and it starred Gregory Peck. It's called To Kill a Mockingbird. You know, we all had to read that book in high school, and I'm sure most of you have seen this movie. It's a perfect movie, and it's an incredible performance by Gregory Peck. It's it's my favorite of all of his movies. Uh, now, number three, another Frank Capra film from 1946, It's a Wonderful Life, starring James Stewart. You know this one. For a while, it fell into the public domain, and you could see it like every minute on every station during the holiday season. Uh, I'm kind of biased to this movie, because it's sort of the movie that got me into collecting classic movies, and, and my love for classic movies started right at this movie. So uh, I always have that, that spot in my heart for this movie. Number two, Sunset Boulevard from 1950, released by Paramount. Billy Wilder directed this masterpiece starring William Holden and Gloria Swanson. This is an epic film noir. I'm sure many of you have seen it. Gloria Swanson's performance is outrageously funny and brilliant and great. Uh, okay, time for number one, and some of you probably have guessed it. Casablanca, 1942, Warner Brothers starring Humphrey Bogart. The first time I saw this movie, I didn't get it. I think I was in my mid-20s, and now when I watch it, I don't really get how I didn't get it, but I didn't. But I love, 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 love this movie, and hence it made it to number one, okay? So there you have it. How did I do? Uh, what are your favorite 20 classic movies or your top 10? I'm waiting, okay? And then leave a comment below. Check out my website. It's vintageclassicmovies.com. It contains a list of all the films in my personal collection. And again, let me know what you guys... How did I do? Did I do okay? Let me know, okay? And, and tell me what your top top movies are. Thanks for joining me on Vintage Classic Movies. So long. Thank you.